The floating torso! The not so floating torso. everyone this is Rico I'm back I'm picking it up where I left off with Bayonetta a few changes right off the bat number one uh, I'm trying this new camera out with uh, well it's the same camera but I've got different software that's running it that lets me get rid of the background which also gets rid of my hands oh no uh, hey it's not perfect but in any case uh, uh, I'm trying it out because I think it might be a good uh, 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 you know a good thing to try to get rid of the background so that you could see more of of the game uh, in the foreground and also see me tucked in the corner. So I'm gonna give it a try. Because I'm only trying it out right now, you will see the logo, the the, the watermark right over here, uh, right over my head. And if I go into the, the game mode, it'll be more annoying and more visible. So it's still right there over my head for now. Uh, it will cost me 30 bucks to get rid of it. And uh, I will do it. It's, you know, that's a that's a fair price if this works well. So I'm just going to try it out for now. That's number one. Number two is that I'm just not going to broadcast live these episodes for, for Bayonetta, for this game. It's just, since the last episode, you know, there, there was that one scene that was not safe for work, which, well, there were, there've been plenty in the game, but this, this one in particular was, was, was very grotesque. And so, uh, when it happened, my immediate thought was, uh, this has never happened to me before, but upon reflection, you know, Duke Nukem was, was kind of the same road. There were plenty of scenes where, you know, and I got to, I didn't have to dwell on them. There were no cut scenes, so it was all up to me. There were plenty of, uh, I don't even know what to describe them as, pods? But, uh, women who had been uh, uh, taken by the aliens and then placed into some sort of plant pods where they were being, I don't know, eaten? Uh, and so they were in, in various states of, of undress and torture. So that's in a game that came out in, what, 1995, and it's all pixelated, but it's, you know, you know what it is that they're showing, and so there's plenty of, you know, of, of nudity and, and grotesqueness in that. Knowing that, I was purposefully trying to, you know, not dwell on them, not look at them, uh, also trying not to kill them, not succeeding very well. But in any case, you know, I I didn't think too much about that because I guess like maybe I grew up with it. I don't know, but uh, but in Bayonetta, it's suddenly well, it's a modern game. It's in high definition, uh, and it's just as suggestive and just as grotesque as Duke Nukem. But I'm more offended by it only because that's not what I grew up with. So, you know, in retrospect, after thinking about it, I, I figured the the parallel between the games is is very similar, and so. I'm gonna go ahead, at least for now. If if it, you know, if it gets infinitely worse, maybe I'll just drop the game. But for now, it's it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and keep playing it. But uh, I'm I'm just not gonna broadcast it anymore, just because when it's live, I can't really control that. When I'm editing the video, I go ahead and put you know a little frame in there that says, "Oh, sorry, kids, not safe for work." But when it's live, you know, it's live on Facebook, it's live on YouTube, it's live wherever I'm live. You know, I don't know who's seeing that. You know, I don't want it to be, you know, watched by an inappropriate audience and there's nothing I can do about it. So uh, for 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 my own peace of mind for this game, I'm just not going to broadcast it live anymore. So I'll be pre-recording it and, you know, editing out any bits that uh, that I find particularly offensive. So those are the two changes that we're going to make for today. I'm going to see if I can get in one more chapter and uh, go from there. My computer is 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 beeping and beeping with notifications uh and i will have to just 
patiently wait and check them out later. But for now, I'm going to, in fact, I better close the browser because one, I'm not broadcasting and two, I don't need it. Uh, and let's get into the game. I hope the game remembers where I left off, because I don't. The Cardinal Virtue of Temperance. Chapter VE. Or 7, if you speak Roman numerals. Before we start our mission, let's go to the gates of hell. And pick up as many lollipops as we can. No matter how much you ask, I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. So what do you want? I don't care about any of this stuff. I just want... Okay, I'm sold out. I just want as many of those lollipops as I can get because, you know, if I run out of health, I'm going to need them. Begin! What happened to that destroyed bridge? Oh no, it's Shadow of the Colossus. Tempera I can't read that. I feel like a fucking celebrity in this town. <laughs> what town is this? See that? Everyone rushes at me like crazed fans. They still haven't figured out that I don't give autographs. Talkative types. How about we would have, have shot him by now? You did plan on having fun with me, right? There'll be plenty of time for pillow talk afterwards. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Supposed to jump somewhere. Here's a thought. How come I couldn't jump that far before? Keep bashing the button because I'm going to fall.
really is like Shadow of the Colossus. I'm getting dizzy. Am I even going in the right direction? I'm not. These names are getting sillier by the minute. It is ridiculous. It's saying E. It's supposed to say X. Am I doing any damage? Gotta follow the orange thing. Is anybody else following this? Because I know I'm not. Oh, my God. 
I'm really struggling right now because some of the controls are not showing up like the Xbox controller. See, right now it showed up as Y and B. But before it was showing up as something else. Right now it's saying E. So I'm pressing X like I'm supposed to. The floating torso! All done. Well, let me give you back your toy then. The not so floating torso! Stop lubricating on the man, if that's what he is. any time for pillow talk I thought we were finally gonna get some answers I guess not Enjuru Atakuru! Take one lollipop, please. So you see what's happening, right, with the buttons? I'm using the, you know, the 8-bit uh, to SNES controller, but it should be mapped like the 360 controller, so I'm not sure why it's not working. Right now it says enter to go next. As soon as I hit A, you're going to see the A pop up. Watch. See? Route 666. Why didn't they do that on chapter 6 instead of chapter VEE, -E, which is chapter 8 if you speak Roman? Save. See, this is chapter V. And chapter V E, and now I'm gonna save chapter V E E. Sub menu, sub menu.
So that's one more round uh, of Bayonetta. It's it's interesting that some chapters are like super long and some chapters are, oh no, you've got the boss fight and that's it. But uh, in any case, so that, that round is over. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. I'm going to edit it together, see how well I like this. Uh, I'm pointing with the wrong hand, aren't I? No, it's the right hand. How much I like this little chroma thing. You know, do I want to get rid of it? Uh, or do I want to use some other solution? Or do I want to go back to, to the way things were? But uh, I'll keep, you know, playing around with this. And uh, I'll see you guys at the next episode. Take care and God bless.